While seated in this position, recite at tahiyyat which has many confirmed versions reported to have been said by the Prophet ﷺ. You may alternate between the different authentic versions in different prayers. The most famous version of at tahiyyat is the one reported by Ibn Mas'ud and adopted by many scholars in which one says, at tahiyyat lillahi wa salawat wa tayyibat السلام عليك أيها النبي ورحمة الله وبركاته السلام علينا وعلى عباد الله الصالحين أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله which means glorification is for Allah all acts of worship and good deeds are for him May Allah send peace, His mercy, and blessings upon you, O Prophet. May peace be upon us and upon all righteous slaves of Allah. I testify that there is no deity worthy of worship except Allah. And I testify that Muhammad is his slave and messenger. There is another version of at tahiyyat which was reported by Ibn Abbas, in which one says, At-tahiyyat al-mubarakat al-salawat al-tayyibat lillah As-salamu alayka ayyuhan nabiyy wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh As-salamu alayna wa ala ibadillahi al-salihin Ashhadu an la ilaha illa Allah wa ashhadu anna Muhammad al-Rasulullah Which means, blessed glorification all acts of worship and good deeds are for Allah. May Allah send peace, His mercy, and blessings upon you, O Prophet. May peace be upon us and upon all righteous slaves of Allah. I testify that there is no deity worthy of worship except Allah, and I testify that Muhammad is the Messenger of Allah. After the death of the Prophet ﷺ, some of the companions started to say Assalamu ala nabi meaning peace upon the Prophet thus addressing a person who is no longer present among them instead of saying Assalamu alayka ayyuhan nabi as mentioned earlier meaning peace upon you O Prophet which implies that you are addressing someone whom you can see if you are praying a three or four rak'ah prayer, such as Maghrib or Isha, you shall now use your hands while closed in a fist to stand up and perform the subsequent rak'ah in the same manner described earlier. Following recitation of at tahiyyat in a two rak'ah prayer or after the last tashahud in a three or four rak'ah prayer, add the following supplication. اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد which means O oh Allah Exalt the mention of Muhammad and the family of Muhammad, just as you exalted the mention of Ibrahim and the family of Ibrahim. Verily, you are of lofty praise and majesty. O Allah, send blessings upon Muhammad and upon the family of Muhammad, just as you sent blessings upon Ibrahim and upon the family of Ibrahim. Verily, you are of lofty praise and majesty. There are many authentic variations of this supplication. It is recommended that you alternate between them in different prayers. Another variation is to say, Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala azwajihi wa dhurriyyatih kama sallayta ala ali Ibrahim wa barik ala Muhammad wa ala azwajihi wa dhurriyyatih كما باركت على آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد which means O oh Allah exalt the mention of Muhammad 
and his wives and offsprings, just as you exalted the mention of the family of Ibrahim. O Allah, send blessings upon Muhammad and upon his wives and offsprings, just as you sent blessings upon the family of Ibrahim. Verily, you are of lofty praise and majesty. During the last tashahud in a three or four rak'ah prayer, you shall sit in the position known as at tawarruk In this position, sit with your left thigh touching the floor and your left foot protruding under the right leg, raising your right foot in the upright position. You may also lay your right foot flat on the floor instead of having it upright, as authentically reported. You shall also grab your left knee with your left hand leaning onto it with your left arm. Place your right hand on your right thigh, closing your right fingers in a fist, except the index finger, which you shall move slightly curved and pointed towards the direction of Qibla, as you did in the first tashahud. You shall continue to move the right index finger while supplicating until you conclude the prayer with salam. It has been reported that the Prophet ﷺ said what means, After one of you has finished his last tashahud, he shall seek refuge in Allah from four things by saying, Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min athabi jahannam wa min athabi al-qabr wa min fitnati al-mahya wal mamat wa min sharri fitnati al-masih al-dajjal Which means, O oh Allah, I seek refuge in you from the punishment of hell, the torment of the grave, the tribulations of life and death, and the evil afflictions of the Antichrist. After this, you may say any supplication you wish for yourself. Many supplications have been reported to have been said by the Prophet ﷺ after the final tashahud, such as, اللهم إني ظلمت نفسي ظلما كثيرا ولا يغفر الذنوب إلا أنت فاغفر لي مغفرة من عندك وارحمني إنك أنت الغفور الرحيم which means O oh Allah I have considerably wronged myself there is none to forgive sins but you so grant me pardon and have mercy upon me verily you are most forgiving, most compassionate. The Prophet ﷺ taught this great supplication to his friend Abu Bakr radiallahu an, who was the most beloved person to him among all people. When he asked the Prophet ﷺ to teach him a supplication to say after the last tashahud. Another authentic supplication to say before concluding the prayer is, اللهم اغفر لي ما قدمت وما أخرت وما أسررت وما أعلنت وما أسرفت وما أنت أعلم به مني أنت المقدم وأنت المؤخر لا إله إلا أنت Which means, O oh Allah, forgive my former and latter sins, those which I have secretly committed and those which I have openly committed. Forgive what I have transgressed, and those faults of mine of which you have better knowledge than I do. You alone can send whomever you wish to paradise, and you alone can send whomever you wish to the hellfire. There is no deity worthy of worship except you. Dear Muslim brother and sister, this was a brief description of the prayer of the Prophet ﷺ. So be keen to strictly adhere to it in order to attain the great reward from Allah Almighty because he who adheres to the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ will attain abundant reward. Allah says what means there has certainly been for you in the Messenger of Allah an excellent example to be followed for anyone whose hope is in Allah and the last day and who remembers Allah often. لَقَدْ كَانَ لَكُمْ فِي رَسُولِ اللَّهِ أُسْوَةٌ حَسَنَةٌ لِمَنْ كَانَ يَرْجُ اللَّهَ وَالْيَوْمَ الْآخِرِ
لمن كان يرجو الله واليوم الآخر وذكر الله كثيرا